it's it, funny, Gus, how often people refer to your offense as the spread. Yeah. It's not the spread, yeah. right? Yeah, we don't look at a spread. I mean, we're a two-back run play-action team, um, you know, with emphasis on running the football and play-action over the top. Is it part of the emphasis on the running game that's – Kind of unconventional. It's it, that's what interests mm -hmm. me about it, Gus, because it's yeah. it's on, on the one hand it's forward thinking and it's yeah. innovative, but I think this year you, you have twice as many run plays as pass yeah. plays. Yeah, you, you know, I guess people categorize us as spread because we go fast, but we're very committed to running the football, and especially in our league, you have to be able to run the football, and we're committed to that, and uh, and uh, you know that's what we kind of hang our hat on. What did you think of the whole movement in the off season that originated? in your league mm -hmm. to put in rules that would not allow teams to snap yeah. the ball in the first what yeah. five to eight seconds of yeah uh, the shot clock. I, I thought assume. it was really bizarre is what i thought i mean that's uh, that's where the game's going you look at uh, the nfl that's where they're going uh, that's where our league's going you know just about everybody has some type of pace and i know fans like it and uh, you know but uh, it definitely caught me off guard Proponents of that idea tried to suggest that it was based on the safety of the yeah. players, that if you, if you have too many plays, there's a sure. concussions and all that. It seemed pretty transparent that this is all about competitive advantage, right? Well, I mean, that's my opinion, but, you know, other people have their own opinion. Uh, you know, anytime you've been doing something since 1996, you know the ins and outs, and uh, there's, you know, absolutely no evidence of, of uh, further injuries by playing fast.